Hello, I'm making a um, fermented uh, tofu soybean curd. First step is to choose tofu and uh, cut. Um, choose firm tofu. Um, and you want just the plain tofu. No um, supplement, any supplement, no any supplement added and no preservative. Cut into this small cube. The size is about uh, three centimeter. Um, someone do bigger, you know. Um, the smaller is easier for um, the fermenting pre process. The f and the fermenting um, process uh, is smaller, easier, I mean faster. Uh, then I will put this tofu into the pot and I'm going to um, boil it. Now I'm going to uh, to boil this tofu and uh, the purpose for doing this is uh, for sterilization. Some people um, do not do that. Well, you do not have to if you know um, your uh, tofu um, is. But I don't know um, if the you know the process or uh, my mom do this to boil it. Also, I think for the temperature, because the best temperature for the fermenting of a tofu is around 20 Celsius, uh, which is about 68 Fahrenheit. So uh, we need a temperature after boiling that and let it cool down a little bit. Now it's too cold. I took this tofu from my refrigerator Okay, now um, add water in and then bring it to the, my stove top to boil it. Hi, um, my tofu is boiling. After boiling, uh, turn on the stove to low heat and uh, let it uh, simmer for one to two minutes. Mine is done. And uh, turn off the heat. And now um, we want to drain the water. We just want the tofu. And uh, my way to do, simple way to do is to pour water out with a lid partially covered. Cause in a tofu, even this firm tofu is still very vulnerable. Um, it's hard to take it out and put in a bowl or something like that. Flip back and forth. Okay, now it's just a tofu, but it's very, very warm, too hot uh, for next step. Because um, our fermenting best temperature is 20 Celsius which equal to 68 Fahrenheit. So waited that it in room temperature cool down about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Hello, after the, uh, my boiled tofu curb uh, cooled down a little bit, and uh, now I'm going to do the next step. Next step, I'm going to put in the container for the fermenting uh, stage. Normally um, people 
and use like rice straw to make the blanket and uh, put the tofu on it and uh, cover it and uh, um, also it's a good um, tool to use is the bamboo uh, steamer but it's kind of hard to clean after using uh, today I'm going to use this um, bakery um, grid to put it on okay now I'm working on it and this is the um, a starter you can use um, any kind of the starter a different brand um, and it says the um, proportion on that you know you can do your calculation um, this one for example they say eight grams of the powder for making two to three kilograms tofu <laughs> okay actually um, very easy um, I, do, I I normally I use um, you know just a little a little bit and the ferment ferment fermenting stage need to um, the tofu need to be um, keep the moisture and also um, let it breathe so I put some um, corn husk corn husk on it to keep the moisture okay you can get this any um, grocery store grocery store okay. now what I'm going to do is get some powder on my uh, tofu curb and uh, a little a little bit each side I will do yeah not that much about this much leave a little bit of space in between and uh, then I put on this um, baking pan without no grease at all okay well in case it drops you know some powdery things I put it on and also easier for me to carry okay now where I'm going <laughs> okay to my oven with no temperature set okay do not start any temperature just to use this as the container to put in and close the door the fermenting stage need to be keep the moisture and also to let it to breathe okay so it will be two to three days I will check later hello my fermenting tofu is ready see until um, this stage and now I'm going to um, put um, salt to salt and uh, the liquor very strong over 50 over 40 degree and uh, today I'm going to um, make three uh, flavors so basically we talk about the salt and the liquor right um, this is salt this is liquor and uh, 
Um, this is one flavor I'm going to add later, but first salt. And the, if the dry one, we can together to put together with together with the salt. So this is the citron pepper, citron pepper powder. This kind of citron pepper powder and the salt. And uh, this one is the um, chili powder, no matter what kind of uh, chili you like. Doesn't have to be the certain brand or certain kind, the one you like. I actually, actually, actually to the, today I use some pre-made and uh, with some you know, sesame seeds. Anything dried, can put, the, put dried powder, you can uh, put together with the uh, salt. So this one is a uh, uh, spicy uh, chili and the citron pepper and the salt. I mix the, mix them together. This mix as well. Not spicy, no chili, only citron pepper and the salt. <laughs> My husband doesn't want the chili one. And basically, the pep, uh, citron pepper and uh, um, the salt will make very good <laughs> thing itself. And then, very important thing is the uh, strong over forty degree uh, liquor. So salt and the. Uh, Liquor will like uh, stop and this stage. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take the tofu curd <laughs> and uh, you know. You can dip in this or use your hand. See? These things become eventually the layer of the fermenting tofu. A little bit, uh, I mean the gray, uh, color, sober gray color is very natural. Okay. Cannot, must have not any other like the red, yellow things for this stage of the fermenting. Okay, now li liquor made, made, made it moisture. And I, then I dip in the salt and the spice. Uh, Let's first do the plain salt one because I'm going to do some, uh, put some uh, flavor later, but salt and uh, um, liquor first. So liquor and dip. How much? Um, traditional way, they didn't really uh, weight them and to do the um, proportion. Just dip this way. Yeah. See that? Not too much, yeah, about very thin layer. Well, later it will melt, right? Six side. Yeah, that's about how much for each curd. Then put in a container. Do not need to do um, leave any space 
in between. See that? Just the one by one, side by side. Okay, the natural tofu uh, shape and uh, I cut it handmade so it's a little bit different, uh, a, a, dif a, a little bit irregular. Okay, doesn't make, matter, just the natural things. Six side, make sure got the liquor. The, the salt. Okay, now I'm. Uh, I can do some um, other flavored. <laughs> Don't have to watch um, each one. I'm gonna continue to do this later. Do this spicy one. Okay, then um, I will do some non-spice, I mean not hot, not chili hot, but with the, um, just the salt and the pepper, citron pepper, this one. Yeah, you can dip in it and uh, not too much water. <laughs> but anyway, make sure six side with the liquor. Dip six side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And uh, put it in the individual container. Okay, then I'm going to same way to finish all that them in three uh, flavors. You don't have to watch them, this tedious work. Okay, uh, see you later. Hello, I finished pushing the tofu in the container. Three flavors here. Okay, um, I didn't use, I, did, I didn't um, exhaust uh, the salt, salt things, but put a little bit more uh, will be easier. Uh, for me to work, you know, to dip in that. Okay, I'm going to just, uh, you can, for, for cooking usage, you can use that, or actually I'm just uh, discard it. And uh, I discard the corn husk, and I'm going to uh, wash this uh, rack container things. Okay, um, and alcohol <laughs> for washing, um, and I didn't exhaust them discard it. Um, okay, now I'm going to cover the lid for the container and uh, leave them in room temperature. Unless really hot summer, 
like over 90 degree Fahrenheit, you put them in refrigerator. Um, now you can just leave it in the room temperature for two days and then later two days later I will put some um, liquid the brine in it to submerge it that's the next uh, step okay this step, this step is finished today after two to three days of dry um, in this container uh, with the salt, with some dry spice, pepper, and the chili, and the, um, this is just a, a plain pepper, uh, plain, I mean salt, and uh, you know the uh, strong uh, white liquor. Now I'm going to um, make some brine to put in. Um, one more thing. The oil sesame uh, sesame uh, oil to seal it okay um, I cooked uh, like a 10 uh, percent uh, salt uh, solution for making the brine to just put in just cover it And make sure uh, the utensil all the way include the pot container and any utensil no oil at all <laughs> the whole process should be very clean no oil at all make sure everything now um, submerge in the um, brine liquid And uh, this plan one, I use other um, different um, brine. I made it from this red rice. Uh, you can get it in the um, Chinese superstore, uh, Chinese supermarket. Um, and this is um, kind of the starter for um, uh, the rice, rice wine, for making the uh, uh, rice wine. Um, and uh, it's, um, I don't know how to say in English, uh, rice, what we call the rice, rice wine, some um, uh, starter or some things, uh, Chinese wine, Chinese uh, rice wine. And uh, okay, you can get it Chinese supermarket. I use this and uh, also this, the yellow cooking wine, yellow cooking wine. Shaoxing Liao Jiu and uh, put in some brine. So, about one red rice, one uh, yellow uh, wa cooking wine, and uh, one brine blender to blend it. And uh, then I put it in this one. So, there is the one kind of flavor is from, and the color is red. Where the red come from? <laughs> the red color is from this red rice, and the blend with the uh, cooking yellow cooking wine. The cooking wine is also made from the rice. <laughs> okay. Make sure it's covered. Yeah, perfect size. Okay, and for this uh, liquid, on the very top, very end, put a little bit, you know, a layer of oil. Normally, people like to do sesame oil to seal it. You know, oil is always on the top, right? 
and also very um, fragrant. I mean, aroma beautiful. <laughs> okay, now to cover it, this stage um, need to be like uh, two week, depend on the weather, two weeks to um, three weeks two to three weeks or 20 days say and then you can eat it later you can put in the refrigerator or traditionally made it very salty you can put in the room zoom room temperature um, next time when we check it I will show you what I made last year <laughs> it's still good so now this stage I complete and uh, leave it in the room temperature for uh, two weeks to two to three weeks okay see you next time good morning this are my uh, fermented tofu um, I made it myself and uh, it has been here for um, half year so um, I totally I made three flavors right um, this is just a plain um, salt and pepper citron pepper and this with some spice um, some chili um, and this um, is some fermented rice, dried rice. The color um, is not from the chili, it's from this red rice, dry rice. You can um, got it at Chinese supermarket. Um, and uh, three of them, they are ready. Actually, you can eat after, um, um, uh, after put the, uh, the sauce, the flavor, and uh, it's fermented for uh, two weeks you can eat but if it's one month the flavor um, get more complete much better um, now is half year six months is really good um, it's a long time the processing and uh, um, today I'm going to uh, eat that this one the red one see how beautiful and this is um, the long time processing that's one of the reason I'm making it myself because um, it's very uh, I just can't buy it at the supermarket because the industrial they won't do this I mean that long time natural made um, some people call it oriental cheese is from the uh, soybean products from tofu and uh, um, you can directly eat it it's salty um, it's like the pickle <laughs> leveled um, uh, very salty and uh, go with the rice porridge traditionally breakfast eat a little bit you know with rice porridge and uh, um, or put on the plan steam the bun in Chinese mantou and rice porridge in Chinese zhou or xi fan <laughs> uh, also you can um, make other um, sauce for um, salad or um, for cooking sauce very very delicious and uh, uh, let's um, just see what's inside you know it's fermented completely so it's very soft and very creamy look at how beautiful <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.